Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today's passage has a very simple command, and yet it can be simple not to do. 2 Timothy 2, verses 24 through 26 says this, And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to the knowledge of the truth, and that they will come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will. In other words, Christian, be kind to everyone. Gently instruct so opponents will come to their senses and out of captivity to Satan. A Christian needs to practice gentleness with everyone. Now, it seems simple enough, but if you're anything like me, which I assume some of you are, gentleness does not come easy. Sometimes it seems like a foreign language to me. For myself, I don't even notice when I'm not being gentle. But more often than not, my actual gentle wife will tap me on the shoulder, give me a look like, chill, dude, they're not your opponents. And this happens all the time. Driving might actually be the worst for me. It's, it's just get out of my way, learn to drive. It's a stop sign, not a parking lot. And I'm not gentle all the time with my parenting either. I let expectations and tiredness and minor annoyances override gentleness when I address my son or my daughter. And in my marriage, too, it could be the same. Sometimes I, I treat my family like they are the opponent who needs my abrupt help rather than my gentle hand and loving words. I constantly find myself repenting from being ungentle. And it has been a major learning curve, especially driving in Havasu, which is like the hodgepodge of people from all over the states. But this command is important. And it sounds simple, but I know it's not always simple for some of us. So here is your reminder. Here's your wake-up call for those who struggle with gentleness like me. Here's your tap on the shoulder. Be kind to everyone. Be gentle with your words. These people in your life are not your opponents or enemies. They are family, fellow believers, and people who need to be guided out of the devil's grasp. I'm going to leave you with two more passages that I think go along with 2 Timothy verse here. And our, and our reminder to be gentle. Ephesians 6.12 says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And James 1.19, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Calvary, be gentle with all. And if you need some encouragement from a fellow gentle challenge bonehead, reach out. Let us know. Let me know. I'm praying for you, Calvary. Have a great day.